Today's guests both work in the field of integrative medicine. Bruce Schoenfeld, an advanced rolfer, practices the art and science of using hands-on manipulation for therapeutic purposes in Santa Monica. It's a pleasure to have you here to discuss what I think are important issues. Now, Bruce, can you explain to me briefly what rolfing is? Yeah, rolfing is of the musculoskeletal system. And it's basically uh, a whole body or a holistic approach mm -hmm. um, to restoring alignment and flexibility and balance throughout all the segments of the body so that you're less at war with gravity. And mm -hmm. Bruce, uh, for people to contact you in Santa Monica, well, let's um, hit these graphics up. If you give us the phone number. Yeah, 310-395-395. Three five five five. Good number. <laughs> it's a great number. And my website is advancedrolfing.com. Mm -hmm. And I also do a lot of work with people who have unresolved scar tissues. So whether it's post C-section or hysterectomy, sometimes the layers just become um, restricted, and I help uh, redifferentiate them, and mm -hmm. it's a very helpful thing. So many people don't uh, know that they are by compensating for an injury to the foot or, or a sore shoulder, that they're really throwing themselves out of whack. How, how do you accomplish the, the remedial action? How can this be improved, Bruce? Through sensitive but direct manipulation mm -hmm. of the tissues that are restricted. So you basically um, do some analysis to try to discern where the body is immobilized or motion restricted. And then working with the client, um, you establish motion back into the system and you do it in a way that takes the whole body into account, mm -hmm. which means that sometimes the roots of our misalignment aren't really symptomatic, but they're very important. So you work the area where they are having discomfort and you check other areas that may not be uncomfortable to see if they're related to the problem. Now, Bruce, when, when you do hands-on, can you actually feel these misalignments or these knots of tension? or I, I don't know what else to call them. Is it really apparent? It is. It's like any profession that has an artistic component to it. Mm -hmm. You become sensitive to differences in tone, differences in mobility, and differences in alignment. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the assessment we do is just very practical, although it's maybe not something that is done quite often by many practitioners. Mm -hmm. So somebody may have a history of headaches or neck pain, and underneath it all, they really have a real leg length difference which can be a part of the problem. So when you look at the whole person, sometimes you're finding these other areas that are a part of the mix. And also, some people don't come in because they're in pain. Some people, just like you bring your car in for a tune-up, want to exercise a preventive medicine aspect to themselves. So they just come in and get their whole body nicely worked out. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a wonderful way to kind of give your body the gift of just optimal wellness, optimal health. We recently visited Bruce at his practice in Santa Monica, and, and the picture's worth a thousand words. One of his clients was kind enough to allow us to watch Bruce's examination and treatment of her. The session started with an intake interview. Um, I'd be more than happy to try to see if we can stretch it out and get you back into alignment, take some pressure off that nerve perhaps, and just get you better balanced on both of your feet. As we start the visual analysis, I'll look down in your feet and look for symmetries and asymmetries. The first one that we see would be over on your left leg in terms of where your knee and your patella are. Your left leg is a little bit more dead center. It's right in the middle. Your right leg is a little bit rotated away from midline. So your patella looks like it's facing away from the middle of your body, different from the left side. As we come up your body from there, the next asymmetry that I see that stands out is in your hands. The left side in your hands, it's a little bit higher here, and the right side hangs a little bit lower and you can see the corollary to that where your shoulder here on the left side is a little bit higher than your right side where your shoulder is a little bit lower. 
and then up into your head and cranium there's a little bit of a right side bend in your skull your eye looks a little bit lower your earlobe looks a little bit lower on the right side so um, that concludes the visual analysis part we'll move over to the table and you'll just lay on your back with your head at this end of the table and your feet just off the edge at the other end your leg length here, Vicky, and it's a little bit shorter on the right side. Okay. Check the mobility, your left, your right leg. It's a little bit tighter over on the left. Here I'll test your sacroiliac joints for their motion. Okay. Compare them left to right. How does it feel to you in here? It feels a bit tighter on the right to me. It feels tighter on the right to me also. This part addresses the viscera, motion of your ribs on your stomach and spleen on the left versus your liver on the right. And it's also a little tighter on the right. How does that feel to you, left to right? How's this pressure, Vicky? It's good. Stretch this side out a little bit. Tell me if you get uncomfortable in any way. It's a slow stretching out process, very similar to yoga in that way. So how are you feeling now from the beginning of the session? Do you feel any different? I do. I feel um, there's less tension in my low back. I feel like my energy is more less scattered and and more rooted, I guess I'd say. I think we're off to a good start. So do I. <laughs> well, Bruce, that kind of struck me that it started as sort of non-specific complaints, and yet you were tracking down where the problem areas were. Uh, at the end of this, do you give the, the patient uh, exercises or therapies or an alternative even to the way of getting out of bed in the morning? Is that kind of what you're about? Yeah, I try to follow up uh, the manipulation part in the office mm -hmm. with um, modifying what you're doing outside of the office. So everything from adjusting the ergonomics at your computer and at your desk space, your sleeping, and your workouts. Those are probably the top three areas that I try to focus on to help people out and the, so they can help themselves out. Mm -hmm.